Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And here on my YouTube channel, I love to share all things home decor, styling tips, DIYs, and budget-friendly decorating in our first home. Today's video, we are going to be continuing the spring decorating and we will be tackling my living room space. If you missed my early spring living room decorate with me video, it was very calm, neutral, brown and beige tones. I actually really, really loved how it looked, but I just have an itch to change things up. It's been in the mid 70s here in North Carolina and I know so many of you still have snow, but I'm sweating every day now getting stuff done and I just need a change of pace. I need things a little bit lighter and brighter in the space. So that is what we are gonna be doing today. And without wasting any more time, let's get to decorating. So we're gonna be getting started today using this neutral throw blanket. I got this from Target a couple years ago. I don't know if they still sell this one, but Target is a great resource for neutral throw blankets. These are my absolute favorite neutral pillows from Target. I love the embroidered detail and the texture that it brings. And then we're gonna be adding in this green. This was from last year's Spring Studio McGee line and this linen lumbar pillow. Now on the other side I'm adding this sweater knit blanket. It's from Hearth and Hand. I've shared it so many times. It's our absolute favorite, specifically my son's absolute favorite, so we have two of them. But it's a great neutral option as well. Now I'm adding this white knit throw pillow from Home Goods to bring some nice texture to the other side. And then I love this pillow cover. This is from Ginger House Textiles and it perfectly complements the green and it just, it honestly looks so good with everything. So if you do blue, if you want to do a pink or something, Having the gray base, it just matches everything and the floral pattern is perfect for spring. So now I'm going to actually take this out it definitely works it's neutral enough but i just want to again change things up so i'm going to add this faux plant this was part of the studio mcgee line last year so i'm sure some of you guys have that one and on the end table we're going to add some book boxes and this little picture frame and a bunny and on this side table, I'm actually, funny enough, adding the same plant. But when they first shipped it, it shattered the pot. So I actually just have the plant with the styrofoam bottom. So I just pushed it into that Walmart planter. So that way it complements the one on the other side table. always adding some more book boxes. I was actually able to source these somewhere so I'm super excited about them. The bottom set is on Amazon and this one is on um, Burke something. They're linked in the video description. And then the magnolias would totally work. I wanted to again freshen things up, change it up. So I opted to go for these beautiful white and cream Cosmos. These are from Hobby Lobby. I have an entire floral styling series if you haven't checked it out yet. So it covers coffee table styling, kitchen island, dining tables, small arrangements for like side tables, nightstands. So there's an entire three part series for that. So I can have those linked down below so you can check out how I actually make my arrangements but I definitely tend to be on the side of fuller ones. I just really like them making an impact because everything else in my space 
is a little calmer, I would say. I don't have anything on my walls. No, that's not intentional. <laughs> I've actually, to digress for a minute, I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit. <clears throat> I had a cold last week that my son gave me and I just can't get rid of it still. So I apologize for the audio. <laughs> um, but the reasoning for me not having stuff on my walls is not because I don't want stuff on my walls. It's that I really am trying to be intentional that what is going in my spaces, I actually love how it looks in the space. So I don't wanna just put stuff on the walls just to put stuff on the walls. So I'm really just taking my time. I have lots of plans too for what my husband and I want to accomplish in these spaces. And if I know I have a distinct plan for an area, there's no point in making the walls Swiss cheese. So that is why I've had so many questions about why are there no pictures? I just haven't found the exact vision yet. And so I'm waiting. So, but skipping ahead, let's get back to some coffee table styling. Then I always love to put a wick trimmer because it's pretty looking and functional. And then a little candle. No, I don't light them when they're underneath branches like this. This is the Anthropology Capri Blue Volcano, and you can just smell the candle with it just open. So that's why I just leave them like that. And on the book box, we will add this little magnifying glass that I got from World Market. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. I sure hope you got lots of decorating ideas and inspiration for what you can do in your living room for the spring season. I did actually post a video a few weeks ago sharing three different ways you can style your living room for spring. So I have that linked down below. What I did today is kind of like a combination of two of them. So I really love how this little refresh worked out. I didn't have to spend anything. I actually already had everything here and I'm sure some of you guys do too because a lot of it is from last year at Target and such. So I sure hope you guys enjoyed. Don't be afraid to shop your home. Don't get sucked into the trends of what everyone else is doing. Do what you love because it is your home and your space. So that's just a friendly reminder. Thank you as always for hanging out with me and spending time with me here on my YouTube channel. I appreciate it so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.